Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about Azure Traffic Manager. To proceed further uh, with the demo, I have already pre-configured few of the things which I wanted to explain to you. So I have three virtual machines which are running from different regions. The first machine uh, is EU-VM01 from North Europe and second machine is from India, South India and also from West US2 other virtual machine. And all of these three virtual machines also have configured uh, to allow the port 80 uh, for these machines uh, from the uh, network security group. So I did configure for Europe machine also for India machine I'll show you here port ID was allowed and also for the US machine also Apart from this I have also done the configuration for the public IP I'll just show you before that port ID is open for these three of them and if I just go to the IP address of the each of these public uh, IP of these machines I also configured a proper DNS name uh, for each of these VMs directly going to the virtual machines a public IP and then configured the FQDN of the virtual machine so this is what I have done and also if I just log into any of these virtual machines or maybe if I try to browse let's say on a browse maybe this specific IP I should be able to uh, get the local uh, IAS because I did install the IAS on these machines uh, and also edited the home page with their local computer name so let me show you here uh, for the US machine I'm able to browse similarly for India machine so these are the IPs which we try to browse we are getting the response Let's go to the Microsoft Azure and search for Traffic Manager profile and let's create a profile. So click on Add, that would take. And here I'm going to give you a specific name, let's say uh, Padimadi, that's trafficmanager.net. And uh, as we discussed earlier about the methods of the routing, so total six of them which we talked in the beginning of the overview lecture the same options we are getting for the traffic routing methods uh, would be the priority weighted and performance geographic multi-value and subnet specific so let's go to the portal and choose uh, for the timing you can change these things later point also so I'm gonna choose here maybe just for the uh, performance based and I can choose my subscription I can choose my exact um, resource group in this case it's the traffic manager demo and if you see here the resource group is located in North Europe so I'm gonna create here so these are the inputs that I need to give so this is gonna create the traffic manager profile so what happens is once we have this traffic manager profile we can actually configure all the settings that we have discussed uh, in the introduction or the overview lecture for the traffic manager profile traffic manager profile has been created here so I'm gonna actually refresh so I should be able to see here so if I just go and browse here my traffic manager profile I should be able to see here the DNS name if you're using already Microsoft Azure a DNS or your own DNS services you should actually uh, create here a C name which would appoint your actual solution let's say you have a solution maybe contestu.com as your front-end page that you wanted to offer for your end users that page will have a C name to point to the specific uh, URL so that's how the DNS change we do it uh, especially creating the C name record once we have done that we are uh, good to have uh, configuration so into the configuration side since we have taken as the routing method here the performance you see here you can change any point of time here so we have taken that performance as the DNS specific uh, protocol IT and the path all that uh, you can go for the probing intervals that we talked and uh, tolerate number of failures and the probed uh, timeout uh, period all that and uh, post to this you can actually configure in the back end about the endpoints so this is where you're going to actually point your endpoints let's say I can add here and uh, I can choose my uh, public IP address of that endpoints let's say I can choose here my 
IPs of any of these three VMs. Let's say I can go for VM01 and uh, if you have any of the custom headers you can give. So I'm, I'm going to just give here as the uh, EU as the name which I'm going to give EU VM. This is and also I'm going to add one more uh, public IP specific here. This should be again India specific so IND and also I can add here one more as the public IP in this case it's a use VM2 in case if you're not getting actually the VM IPs uh, even though you configured it could be actually problem with your uh, naming of uh, the specific DNS uh, name should be you no know, created otherwise you don't get it so in our case uh, we have already created that's why we are getting so I'm just giving USB so I'll just simply add so now we have three different endpoints has been added so what would happen is if I try to browse the specific URL I should be able to get the request from anywhere so I am getting actually from India because this machine is located in India so the performance is uh, faster uh, when we connect from India uh, because that's a nearest one and I'm able to browse the specific uh, India specific virtual machine I did switch back to a machine which is located in US and try to browse the same URL I'm getting from US. Since this is coming from uh, United States, I'm actually getting the response from the US server. So that's good. You can also switch from the configuration side uh, instead of the performance, maybe a weight based or even from the geographic specific or multi-value or subnet based or priority based. So if I just choose the priority and click on save, uh, the configuration uh, for the endpoints also gets changed actually in the back end. So you see here you have the priority has been already assigned. So what happens is now if I try to browse the priority one would come and post to the two and three so these are the priority based if I try to browse from the India again one more time this time I'm getting EU because the priority is set as the VM from the Europe so if I just change this value to maybe something else um, like you no know, delete and re-add for a different priority that would actually comes as a different so this is how you can uh, configure your uh, configuration with respect to the routing methods so you have to uh, you have total six different uh, methods that can be configured here any anywhere from the performance or weight based or priority or multi-value or subnet based and then based on the configuration here you save actually it's going to change in the back end for the endpoints also and you can also enable the traffic view by default it doesn't enable you can configure this so that you know the latency information all that uh, by enabling the uh, traffic uh, view uh, this can be done and also this uh, other configuration like uh, if you look at uh, monitoring specific so these are the very similar for any of the azure plate so similar options you have like raising a support case or maybe alerts or metrics to see the performance and also diagnostic settings and also for the activity log what kind of configurations we have done and tagging and any of the diagnosing and solving the problems all that are by default configurations um, for any of the azure plates so similar configuration you have but here the uh, key point would be the configuration uh, that you actually configure here and also for the endpoints that's gonna add as a back end so this is all about the uh, traffic manager profiles. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.